Picture this. American tools such as ChatGPT and Gemini are dominating the artificial intelligence space. But then a new AI assistant enters the space and according to Forbes, it has taken the world by storm. AI from a Chinese company should be a wake-up call. We're talking about DeepSeek, something you might have heard about of late. Let me explain. DeepSeek is a Chinese AI startup which is being perceived as a competitor of OpenAI. OpenAI's ChatGPT, which has been around since 2022, has more than 300 million weekly users. But just a week after DeepSeek's latest version, R1, was launched on 20th January 2025, it became the most downloaded app on Apple's App Store in the US. DeepSeek was founded in July 2023 by Liang Wenfeng, a former hedge fund manager and CEO of Highflyer, one of China's largest hedge funds. While leading Highflyer, Liang allegedly amassed thousands of NVIDIA A100 GPUs just before the US implemented export restrictions on China. Experts say DeepSeek paired the advanced NVIDIA chips with cheaper and less sophisticated ones to build their AI model. NVIDIA is an American company known as a leader in GPU-accelerated computing and AI chips. And GPUs or graphics processing units are key ingredients in bringing AI to life. GPU chips are used to perform complex calculations quickly and so it's important in the AI world because it can handle large amounts of data and perform calculations at the same time. DeepSeek gained global attention with the release of its R1 model which focuses on cost efficiency and performance optimization. Among the things about DeepSeek that fascinated people was that it was built at a fraction of the cost at which tools like OpenAI were built. DeepSeek's R1 model was said to have used a budget of $5.6 million, whereas OpenAI is said to have used billions of dollars for building its AI models. Users noted that DeepSeek performs as well as or even better than OpenAI's GPT-4 and Anthropic's Claude. Social media users compared this with Iron Man building armor from scraps in a cave. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave! Moreover, a video of a 2023 Economic Times Conversations event in India went viral where OpenAI co-founder Sam Altman said, It's totally hopeless to compete with us on training foundational models. He said this while responding to a question on whether an Indian startup could build foundational models on a budget of $10 million. On DeepSeek, Sam Altman said, DeepSeek's R1 model is an impressive model, particularly around what they're able to deliver for the price. We will obviously deliver much better models, and also it's legit invigorating to have a new competitor. While ChatGPT has limits on free usage, which means users have to pay to use it after a certain point, access to DeepSeek is free of cost for now. However, some users have found that DeepSeek censors information about politically sensitive topics, such as the 1989 student-led demonstrations for democracy in China that ended in a violent government crackdown at the Tiananmen Square, by responding with, sorry, that's beyond my current scope. Let's talk about something else. Nevertheless, DeepSeek has disrupted norms in the AI industry. While traditional AI models rely on high-end GPUs, the R1 model requires far fewer resources. The release of the R1 model shook global markets. NVIDIA lost $600 billion of its market value, which was said to be one of the biggest one-day loss in US history. The success of DeepSeek highlights the intensifying economic and geopolitical competition between the US and China in AI development. It also demonstrates China's growing capabilities in AI innovation, challenging America's long-standing tech dominance. DeepSeek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake-up call for our industries that we need to be laser-focused on competing to win because we have the greatest scientists in the world, even Chinese leadership told me that. Liang Wenfeng said in a 2024 interview, China's AI can't be in a position of following forever. We often say that there is a gap of one or two years between China's AI and the United States, but the real gap is the difference between originality and imitation.